take a little guess at what I've done. If it's anything to do with cars, then you're probably right. So with guesses in your mind, or maybe not so much if you've seen the thumbnail, take a look at my new car. It's pretty nice, isn't it? I mean, I feel like it's almost just a little bit too good for me. I mean, I know it's a Mark 1 TT, it's a 5.5 plate, it's quite old, 2005, but ah, there's just something about these cars that I really like. I've always wanted one, and I've always wanted an interesting one, one in a good color, you know? And this blue really sets it apart. These are so rare. Like, there were darker blues on, the, on this Mark 1 TT that you could get, but a blue like this, a really bright, vibrant blue, this was quite a rare colour, so I'm really glad that I managed to pick this car up. Now, before I tell you, put it down in the comments how much you think I bought this car for. So, you know, decent condition, Audi TT, average mileage for its age. Um, what do you think I paid for it? Yeah, put it down in the comments and I will tell you soon. So, it's the 1.8 turbo, four cylinders, you know, good engine. These are very good engines, pretty reliable, turbocharged, German engineering much better than GM rubbish, <laughs> which I've had in the past. A nice German-built five-valve turbo engine. Love them. Love them to bits. Great engines. You can rev them up and they just they sound great. And funnily enough, this one actually has um, a nice little blow-off valve and a different air filter on the turbo, a cone air filter. And I tell you what, it sounds absolutely great. You take it down the dual carriageway, you know, hoon it up, take the revs up, and it sounds brilliant. Now, there are a few bits that need doing on the car, but very, very minor stuff. A couple little bits of lack of peeling here and there, but it really, really isn't bad for its age. I mean, if you think about how old this car really is, it's in brilliant condition. The wheels are knackered, but other than that, you know, it's, it's really quite surprising. The wheels definitely want a refurb. There's a good amount of curbing. Somebody's had a go at sanding them, not very well. So um, I'm going to refurb the wheels myself. Um, I'm going to give that a go. I've never done that before. So I'll make a video on that. You know, um, you can sort of learn along with me. That would be cool. And um, yeah, so apart from the, the lack of peeling and the wheels, this car is pretty much good to go. I'm, I've got it booked in to have a cam belt because there's no cam belt history. But other than that, you know, I've actually bought myself a car that is decent. I usually buy a car, you know, drive it home and realise that there are a million different things wrong with it. But... This one, there's, I just can't fault it. I mean, a little warning light has popped up, but I think it's probably for a bulb or something. It's one of those, you know, exclamation mark in orange, whatever. It's just probably a bulb. I need to go around and check the brake lights and stuff. Um, but other than that, this car is just absolutely flawless. It drives beautifully and it just, it feels great. You know, all the gears are good. I know they had problems with reverse and first and stuff like that in these gearboxes, but this gearbox shifts brilliantly. Um, it's, it's had work like the, the clutch cylinder, slave cylinder, um, so the clutch pedal feels really good, and uh, yeah, there's just I, I really can't fault this car, it drives beautifully. And I'm going to really enjoy driving this for the next few weeks, because that is what I plan on doing. But of course, in the near future, it will be going up for sale, and hopefully I can make a profit on it. This one isn't particularly about the profit, it's more just a car for me, you know, just for, for my enjoyment, for my my own personal reasons. I just, I wanted this. I saw it, um, it had been up for sale for a while and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go and get it because it's just absolutely amazing in this blue. It really is. Anyway, if you would be interested in watching some videos on me learning how to refurb wheels, learning how to paint them myself and learning how to put some more lacquer on the car, I'm gonna try and just put lacquer on, not do a base coat and all that. I'm just gonna try and see if I can apply lacquer. Um, so I'm gonna get this car mint basically. If you want to watch along, make sure you subscribe. I've barely got any subscribers, so you know, subscribe, drop a like, talk to me in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make a, a few videos on this car. Um, maybe I'll do more stuff to it, who knows? Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and talked to me. Um, yeah, very much appreciated. So anyway, I hope that you guys have a brilliant rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.